Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was amazing! All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Chippy's Couch, and boy, oh boy, does it feel good to finally say that intro again. Today, you join me for the start of a brand new Terraria adventure, and in this adventure, we're going to be playing through update 1.5 of the Calamity mod. That's right, the big update that you've probably all heard about by now, the one that adds in just tons and tons of stuff, and also the one I've actually managed to remain very spoiler-free on. But yeah, welcome back to the channel. Hope you've all been doing well. As you're probably aware, I've been away for a couple of months, and I'm sure a lot of you probably want to know why. And I'll sum it up in one sentence. I had create a burnout. Yeah, that's right. You know that thing that YouTubers are always talking about? It got me. Yeah, it got me, and I took a break. And I feel really good, and I'm glad to be doing a brand new adventure alongside you lot. So I hope you've all been well. Uh, let me know about how you've been in the comment section down below. And also, while you're down there, if you're new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button? Now is a really great time to get subscribed. So what are we going to be doing in this adventure? Well, my plan is to play through the entire update, and I'm not too sure if we're going to be picking a specific class quite yet. I feel like what we'll likely end up doing is trying out a bunch of new weapons, and then maybe falling back on some of the old favorites, like being a mage or being a ranger we'll see though already i'm noticing that wolfram drones well this one's a wolfram hovercraft they all they already look different everything's brand new so i haven't played calamity in about a year so i mean i am excited i'm really excited oh god <laughs> what's it already doing i'm already alarmed so something new i've spotted straight away there is now a giant healing cooldown so it's like hey you want to take a healing pot nah fam look at this <laughs> look at how long you've got left this is really hard, though. <laughs> when you've had a small break from Terraria, coming back, it's... I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit of a challenge. Okay, Umbrella, Shiny Boys. It's some of the old favorites. That's awesome. So, let's open up the, the starter bag and take a little look. Wow. Okay, this has changed quite a bit. So, it now gives you a bunch of different potions. Spolunker, Swiftness, Gills, Recall. You get a Topaz Staff. Very interesting. And then Malice. Enables and disables malice mode can only be used in death mode. Right, so the way I understand it is that malice mode is not meant to be used for an entire playthrough. You're meant to enable it to do boss refights. That's the kind of thing I'm going to do. I'm not going to turn it on right now. Maybe that's changed. Maybe it hasn't. So you've got revengeance mode, which makes the game so much harder. Already, you know, we're slapping that bad boy on. And then there's also death mode, which makes the game even harder. And already, we're slapping that bad boy straight on. Um, what about these things? I can't, can't remember how to move them. <laughs> so I had a little look in the setting, and I don't know how to move them. So if you know how to move them, let me know. Be that guy. Okay, so we also get the squirrel squire staff, because we already know what this is, because we've already played as a summoner before. And I love it. <laughs> it, looks, it looks better than before. And it seems to work better than before. So is that everything we needed to know? Oh, there's throwing bricks, all right? Like a true Londoner, to, to slap a person about with a brick. Don't even worry about it. Price of bricks are pretty expensive in modern times, I'm not going to lie. This does feel a little bit wasteful. So there's a mana crystal as well, which we're going to take. And then I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's everything that we needed to, to take a little look at. I guess we could go all out and just kind of mess around with these, but yeah. Yeah, got, yeah we're, we're, we're doing good. Right, I think the first thing we want to do is find an area to loot underground. Since I've been away, though, there is so much that has actually changed in my life. I feel like a different person, not going to lie. Uh, for those who don't know, I recently got a, a puppy. His name is Atari. He's uh, an English Cocker Spaniel, and, uh, and he's been great. He's been really great, and he's been a, a big reason why this uh, break has actually extended a little bit longer. Because I didn't realize having a puppy is like having an actual child. Nobody ever tells you this. I already knew I wasn't ready for a child, right? I'm 25. And I tell you what, I don't think I'm going to be ready for years from now. Seriously. Like, it's pushed back me wanting a child by many years. Even though it's the most delightful thing in the world. And I'm enjoying and fully embracing being a dog parent. Okay, right. This area seems really good down here. So I'm just going to keep pushing on into seeing what's about. Whoa! Wolfram Gyrator. Hell yeah. So I've seen a lot of this stuff, obviously, in the past, but a lot of this is going to look a lot different to me. 
I've got to remember that we just slapped on all of the difficulty options. <laughs> so if I just like randomly die quite a bit, I can just blame it on that. Not being rusty or anything like that. Was this maybe a dumb idea? Jump in straight at the deep end? Nah, I like a challenge. I do. I like a challenge. Oh my god, look at this world, Jen. What is this? Is this a, a part of death mode? To just randomly insert a cliffside just every once in a while? Yeah, you don't need those kneecaps, all right? The world will decide that it's time for them to shatter. Okay, this is already good. Does anybody else have this where they go back to an older version of Terrarium? So we're playing 1.3.5 for this since that's the version of T-Mod Loader with Calamity 1.5. A little bit confusing, I know. But then you go into like a, a big tree and you're like, right, better be careful of gnomes. There are no gnomes. So ultimately I'm being gnomed without a gnome. And I feel like that is very on brand for gnomes. So ultimately, it's the same channel. It's the same Chippy's Couch. I did think about changing some things up, but honestly, why reinvent the wheel? <laughs> I already like what we do here. I guess the only thing that might be different is the upload schedule. It might be a little bit less frequent than we used to have it back in the day, which used to aim for as daily as possible. Whoa, oh my God. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That was a little bit like Monstro from um from The Binding of Isaac. So maybe not as daily, because I still want to work on main channel videos more often. Oh my god, look. My adrenaline is boosted in. Oh no, my key bindings are different. So I can't activate it. Never mind. So we'll put rage there and adrenaline there. Now I think this is this is rage, right? Because it's based on No, actually, I, I don't actually know. Because it used to be one was based on Staying alive during a boss fight, and one was based on taking damage. So let me slap this bad boy down here, activate that, and see if anything else changes. Kinda. Yeah, I'm stronger. The thing with this, if I remember right, is the longer you leave it, so like if you reach that meter and don't use it, when you go to use it, it uh it isn't as effective. Hey, look at that. A Snidrion. Hey, do you know what? It would actually be kind of sick if I could take you out. So if you could stay there and not make your way over here in death mode, where you will obviously kill me, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, stay right there, and we'll <laughs> we'll get 560 nuts to hit you, and then and then we'll be we'll be lit, you know? It's lit? No. Why am I saying lit? We won't be lit. We'll just be overwhelmed. Overjoyed. Oh my god, I like these small zombies though. Right. Bail. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the the opportunity to bail was taken from me. That's fine. Right, so we survived the night. So all I'm doing now is just kind of making like a, a temporary setup just so that when it does hit the second night, it's not like getting bombarded by these all night. Nah, I'm not about it. Uh, so what I've actually done is, and I mean, we're probably going to switch over to magic storage eventually, right? Uh, I've just organized everything down here already because with Calamity, there's a lot. There is a lot. I mean, it's not Fargo Soul Mod, where absolutely everything is a crafting recipe, but we're going to need it all at some point, so I want to stay as organized as possible. Also, I'm noticing that Rage actually builds just over time. Does it speed up as we move, or... I don't know. Uh, I'm confused. All right. <laughs> Wiki gang will let me know. So our first main objective is going to be securing movement accessories. And I used to say that a lot. Essentially, we're looking for a grappling hook. We're looking for any kind of boots. We're looking for any kind of bottle. Just anything that makes you go, you know, a little bit faster. Moves a little bit smoother. Okay, there's Crimson over here. So, yeah. Uh, if there's not something down here, we are bailing on this area immediately. Are we going to be able to survive in the desert? No, but I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. You know what? Honestly, we might actually be able to uh, to make it out here alive. What I ultimately want to do is... Oh, wait, I'm going to activate rage. There we go. Get bricked. <laughs> Get bricked. Yeah, I want to make it through the desert, which we have done now, and try and find another cave entrance. Since this seems like a fairly good world, to be honest. I don't feel like we're going to get loads of trouble in this world. It's already got a bit of a vibe to it, not going to lie. So instead of finding uh, another cave entrance, we found another desert. And I don't really feel comfortable about this. Deserts are always kind of the worst. I tell you what, though, these bricks are great. <laughs> How do you make them? Are they made of clay? I, I, I just want to assume clay, right? So we've actually stumbled across the, uh, the jungle. I don't really think this is going to go all that well. Look at these piranhas. Knowing this, 
Knowing Calamity 1.5, these piranhas are going to have jaws that rocket out of their mouth. And then just chomp down on the player. I mean, it didn't happen then. But don't put it past them. May seem calm and safe now. But look, this is Calamity. This is death mode. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. You know how I used to always say I like the jungle because it has a natural cave entrance? I don't think this world has a natural cave entrance to give me. Look at this. Look at how far into the jungle we got. Usually it's like around here, right? Also, I feel like this map took inspiration from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Because look at it. It's all water. So what's going on? All right. <laughs> what is this? So we've already got 12 Wolfram Metal Scraps. And it's interesting to see some of the things we can make. Because once again, everything's been kind of respired. So much of this mod has actually, like, had an aesthetic upgrade. So, Wolfram Pickaxe, Wolfram Staff, the Blade, the Bow. I like these Iron Tomahawks. These are very cool. There's also a Fishing Pole. How does that stack up? Slightly worse than Iron. That's very interesting. So, for example, this is 35% Pickaxe power. This one is 40%. So I think already we have to purchase this, bin this, take... Let me get a potion. Yeah. Let me get one of these bad boys. Let me get one of these and one of these. And I think I begin the elevator. I think that's the new motive. Oh my god, look at that. That is fast. <laughs> I've been playing too much vanilla Terraria. I forgot just how good mod it is. I already like this speed. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, alright. Zombies may just be able to slap me about a lot easier than they thought. Hey, look at that. A blue mushroom biome. Although, this does make me miss 1.4 just a little bit. Because blue mushroom biomes in 1.4, they just hit different. Because you know when you go there, you're probably going to find some good loot. I mean, what do you find in a 1.3 blue mushroom biome? You find an aesthetic, sure. And you probably find like a dart trap or a boulder. But other than that, yeah, not so much. I mean, sometimes a house. I do like blue mushroom houses. But in 1.4, it's just a... It's like a little mini adventure, isn't it? Oh my god, look at the size of that worm! What is that? It's a long boy. I'm gonna allow myself to die to this worm. Just because I want to see it one more time. Let me hit that. There we go. <laughs> okay. We have an area to get back to now. Oh! It was longer, right? It wasn't just two worms one after the other, right? <laughs> Am I losing my mind? Have I forgotten the length of a worm? Let's see. Come on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? No, no, no. Definitely larger. You know, I'll put money on it. That's definitely larger. Oh my god, that was brilliant. Right, so that's it for today. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.